Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Trailblazers is here. We are entering a new promo on FC25 today. Of course, it is a promo Friday when we get all the new cards, new content. It's usually a pretty hype day. I'm kind of glad that we're ending Total Rush. Not that it was a terrible promo, but it wasn't crazy. We're hoping for some change today with Trailblazers. Better pack weight? <laughs> we can hope, right? And really, the return of Evolutions is something that a lot of us want to see because this last week with Evos not being featured because of the allegedly broken Evo system in this game was really a pain for content. We're missing Evos. We need some good content there today. We're hoping that's fixed, but we do have some leaks, guys, to talk about with the players coming in packs today, an SBC that looks pretty massive, and even a potential surprise piece of content related to Heroes. Yeah, we have one of those car designs that we talked about last week, two weeks ago. It's back, and we need to talk about it some more. So if you're excited for the new promo today, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's talk about yesterday's content from Thursday really quick. Guys, Thursday content, never too much to go over here. EA like to keep it quiet in those days. It's a big gameplay day. Getting qualified for Weekend League is the focus for a lot of people. We did have a player SBC, though. The only leaked Total Rush card that was still left. Ebanez, Saudi League links here. He actually got a massive boost on his passing and dribbling, which makes him way more usable. And I actually played against him yesterday in a, in a game of Division Rivals. He seemed all right. And for the price, it's also one of those SBCs that, you know, you've seen recently this week with like Crystal Dunn. The rudder was okay. It's just another one of those, not filler pieces of content, but if you're a Saudi League fan or if you want Brazilian links, if you have Neymar, this is obviously a really easy link to him. 84,000 coins. It's not terrible. He does have a high pay stat on his card. 85 rated is kind of low. He does have a play stat plus, slide tackle plus. So the only annoying thing with this for me personally is that he's got six squads to get done it's so interesting to see ea doing this now with the sbc requirements they're going for like quantity instead of quality they're doing they're doing more lower rated squads instead of like just a couple like they could have gotten an 80 or 90 000 coin sbc by just doing two 85 rated squads or like an 84 and 85 or something like that but instead they're doing 81s, 82s, 83, 83, and then an 84 to get that price up. So it's really, really interesting how they're doing that. I think it's a little annoying, but you do get more packs back. So there's some silver lining to that whole situation. Bottom line is, if Ibanya is interesting to you, or if in the next 14 days you have a bunch of 81s, 2s, and 3s in your duplicate storage, that's a good SBC to put them into. We also had marquee matchups that was uh, released yesterday too. Not too much to mention here. Again, I think really the poll for SBCs right now is a lot of people are doing the mixed league and the premium league upgrades. Check your club once again for Libertadores players because they are gold this year, not a different card design like they have been in previous years. But still, I sold like three or four of them from my club yesterday for at least 2,000 coins a piece. One, I even sold for max price 5,000 coins. Those cards are selling like hotcakes because people would love to open these packs for the promo today and they're doing these SBCs. Now, of course on Thursdays, it's the easiest day of the week to make coins. We got to talk about this as well. Currently my coins are in two cards, most of them and the fodder that we've invested in, but we have a Rio Ferdinand just picked up for 1.6 mil, hoping for a quick flip and then a Lewandowski that I might be holding into content today because of the leaked SBC player, but just again, Look at this market. Every single day on Thursday, guys, Wednesday night or Thursday when you wake up before Rivals Rewards, whatever time zone it is for you, Wednesday after content drop to Thursday at Rivals Rewards, buy something, okay? Because look at the state of this market. We've got out-of-pack special cards, icons, heroes, I mean, exploding in price. Shuameni is 720,000 coins. He was 620 before Rivals Rewards yesterday. Went up like crazy. I bought Trent Alexander-Arnold. I sold him too early. I bought Dembele for 412 and 414. Sold him at 450. He's now 480,000 coins. The market is flying once again on a lot of these cards that people can afford after they do uh, a, a week's worth of games for Division Rivals. They get the coins. They get the rewards. Again, we say it every single week. With the way the rewards are set up this year, it's giving out so many coins. People have coins to pay big bucks for these cards. And that's why we can continue to see inflation like crazy on these icons and heroes. And the out-of-pack special cards are following suit. One thing to remember is the promo cards that have been out of packs for one week really did good last week. Like all of the Total Rush cards from Team 1 did really good. So what we'll look forward to next week is maybe some of the Total Rush Team 2 cards that we feel like have potential to move up in price. These could be good cards to watch for investments 
next week if they're still meta within the power curve rarity all those things considered and stuff like that but just watch these cards next week for a rewards rise as well but of course we'll be buying cards once again next week as it happens every single week the only kind of part of the market that went down was gold cards lower tier gold cards stuff that is in packs that's kind of being phased out and fodder guys fodder is actually down a good bit because you expect it right the supply and especially as we head into today on Friday, where there's going to be more tradable packs and supply, weekend league starting to be weekend league rewards starting to be open up. That's going to bring supply to the fodder market. Now, I still love and I'm still investing in the 89 and above rated fodder because I think there are we're even closer now to getting big boy SBCs that are going to require those 88 and 89 rated squads. It is a no brainer investment. It's just a waiting period until we get those SBCs, and we could be close to those because of one of the leaks that we'll talk about here in a second. But I would imagine fodder is going to stay the same price or maybe even drop a little lower today. It is going to depend on the player SBC that we get. But as you guys know, player SBCs don't move fodder as much on the middle tier, like 85 to 87s, as much as like an icon pack or a hero pack does. So that is one thing to kind of watch out for. I would expect those prices to maybe slide down a little bit more today, but I don't think they're going to crash. Maybe just a little bit of a drop. Now, last thing we have to talk about, this actually moves us into today on Friday. Maybe as you're watching this video, these upgrades have already happened, but Friday is Road to the Knockouts Upgrade Day. And these are all the cards that are getting plus ones today. VVD, Romero, Watkins, Malagusto, Diogo Jota, the SBC, and Moyes Keen. Now, the question is, when will they get their upgrades? This is something that changes every single year. I mean, last week, the first upgrades that came out for the Women's Champions League cards happened early in the morning. Will that be the same as this week? I don't know. EA did a really good job of upgrading cards almost at the exact same time every day during the Euros at the end of FC24. But last year, during FC24 and Road to the Knockouts, the cards were upgraded at some point on Friday. Sometimes it was in the mornings. Sometimes it was in the evenings. I think one or two times it happened even in Saturday, technically, time zones across the world because it was very late night Friday. So it just kind of depends when EA put those upgrades in. But as it goes with a lot of these cards, especially for some that seem overpriced, I think this card's still very overpriced. He's going up, right? He's, he's in anticipated for the upgrade to go to an 87. I would sell on the hype, especially if you have a lower rated card that's more supplied like Ollie Watkins. Um, we're getting a John Duran card today. I would assume that card may be better than this one. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But this is a card that if you bought it for like less than 100K, just sell it in the hype. These three-star skills, four-star weak foot, decent stats, no play style plus. Just sell it in the hype and take the safe route. Same thing for like Christian Romero and Moise Keen as well as lower rated cards. We'll just have to see what happens. But that's always a safe route. Sell it in the hype. Then you worry about it afterwards if you want to rebuy, depending on how the price moves after the upgrade so that's one thing to watch out for today before we even get to the 6 p.m content drop let's talk about that content drop though guys trail blazers we got some leaks what do you know right i said we we're probably going to get some leaks after people had a chance to invest for the rivals rewards rise we absolutely had that situation happen and we've got a solid list of player names that are dropping today in this team this is not the full team by any stretch of the imagination i think we only have like eight or nine or ten names right now we don't have a full team we need at least a few more but there are some big ones in here Erling Holland, Cole Palmer, Bastoni, Pulisic, Duran, and Llorente really interested to see a few of these cards and their actual upgrades today these are again predicted stats and once again we have a loading screen that gives us some insight into detail on how this promo is going to work if you didn't watch yesterday's video once again this is all about or at least last year was about giving players new playstyle pluses and this was a really big promo last year because it created some absolutely insane cards and it boosted the power curve and also what you're going to say is nate they're reusing some cards that have already gotten promos why can't they mix it up well again the whole point of this promo is to acknowledge and to recognize those players that are actually playing incredible right now in real life it's kind of like the early like i said yesterday it's kind of like the early game team of the season if you will, kind of like that, right? Palmer's been killing it. Pulisic's been killing it. Holland's been scoring goals. John Duran, need I say more? Like, these guys all deserve special cards. These are almost like performance-based cards, but it's a separate promo. They're not live or upgrading or anything like that, but this promo is usually really good, and I think the Erling Holland in this prediction I think might be wrong, though, because Acrobatic Plus is what's shown in this card, and again, we look at the loading screen and we see a striker with Rapid Plus. I would imagine EA would like to advertise Holland on the loading screen. I'm trying to think of how a Holland would feel with Rapid Plus in-game and lengthy accelerate type. 
that card would be busted. He would be so fast in game. You've got a left wing here with the Trickster Plus playstyle. My guess for that would be Kavicha. I know he, he has the player of the month that is out right now, but a Kavicha with a Trickster Plus for those fake shot animations would be pretty crazy. You've got a center attack in mid with Incisive. I'm going to guess either Cole Palmer or Bonmati because Bonmati is leaked as well. And uh, she's got technical on her base gold card. She's very good. You also got a center back with Anticipate. That could be any number of these cards in here. That could be Gabrielle from Arsenal, or that could be Bastoni. So definitely excited to see how this plays out today, guys. As always, when it comes down to the Promo team, we look at the pack weight and the upgrades on the cards in all the different areas, right? The play styles, play style pluses, if they're changing them, which we would think they are based off the promo from last year, the stat boost always, of course, too. And then the roll plus pluses, all these cards show a roll plus plus. I would assume that most of them already had one, especially for the top tier players, they would be advertising on a loading screen and hyping up. But if they're going to give roll pluses or roll plus pluses to a lot of the cards coming today, that could be pretty exciting as well. But then again, then again, guys, it comes down to the pack weight. Could this be the first actually packable promo cards of the year? I'm not going to hold my breath for that, but we will have to see. And that is part of what makes a promo team hype each week. Total Rush, the pack weight on these cards, I packed uh, Indombale yesterday. I think maybe I packed one of the other fodder cards in the first week. I really didn't have that much luck, to be honest. And I know some of you guys did have some luck packing one or two of these, but they're definitely not really easy to pack. And that's been the trend this year with promos. I'm not anticipating it to change, but you never know. It's something we kind of have to prepare for. The pack weight and the upgrades determine the hype for sure on a promo team that is coming. Now, you see this here. The SBC is the next thing we got to talk about because this is the real big one. And it's giving us flashbacks to an SBC that we had for a Real Madrid player last year on the first week of Trailblazers as well. Rafinha is set to come as a Trailblazers SBC, and he also says this is not the single surprise. I'll touch on that in a second, but this is going to be hyped regardless of the price of the SBC. You know what? This, this is kind of comparable to the Nico Williams that was released a couple of weeks ago. That SBC was very hype, and of course, then it was overpriced, and it was not hype. So I guess there is that sort of capability of this SBC to flop today, but it just feels like after the week of Total Rush that we have had, I really doubt this SBC is going to flop. Rafinha is very good in this game. Look at the price of his inform over the past couple of weeks that it has been in packs. He has gone from... 288,000 coins at his lowest, up to 440k where he is now. This card was panic sold yesterday upon this leak. I'm glad that I sold it when I did. He went down to 400k and then all the way back up to 440 where he is now. I would imagine this card drops today as we would expect this SBC to be today. That's a promo Friday type of SBC for sure. He's absolutely cooking in real life right now and his card is very, very good in game. I would imagine they're going to give him a playstyle plus as well. The SBC that this reminds us of from last year is this Rodrigo. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this one. This was kind of described last year in FC24 as the first big SBC player of the year. So many people did this. 8,600 upvotes on this SBC for this Rodrigo. They got first touch plus. He was still 4-4. He got a really solid stat boost over his 85 gold. Very linkable, very craftable. People had fodder for it. And it was... It was a really good SBC card that a lot of people ended up doing. I think Rafinha has that same level of hype this year. It's going to come down to the price. And I'm going to guess that EA, if, if they boost a Rafinha, let's say he's 87 or 88 rated. I'm going to say that 500K is probably a decent ballpark range. If they want to make this a hype SBC with a big boost, give him a playstyle plus, it's got to be somewhat affordable. Like it's going to be expensive. It's not going to be 100K or 200K. I think it's going to be more than that. But it's going to be a hype name player. It's going to be Barca Lynx. It's going to be Brazilian Lynx as well. I think this has really, really good potential today. I would be very careful watching left wings. He can also play on the right. Attackers today, if this SBC hits like crazy, could be dropping in price. And that's another reason why I'm holding on to the Lewandowski card. Because if this SBC goes crazy, I remember exactly last year with the Rodrigo as well, the Lynx went up like mad. And right now, think about it. Not a lot of people are using Barca cards in teams. I mean, I'm sure. A lot of you guys may be, but a lot of people are running Taram, they're running Serie A, NWSL links. I look at that Rafinha SBC and I look at my team and I'm like, does he go into my team? I don't have a way to link him at the moment. And if that's the case, if that SBC comes out today and is cracked, you're going to see some Barca links. You're going to see some La Liga links for heroes probably move up. So I'm not saying you have to invest before the content drop today. Of course, we expect prices to move after content. 
but have your eye on some of those Barca cards, men and women both, for the links today because of that potential SBC. Now, the surprise SBC that I mentioned, there's this new pack that's in the code. Uh, new card design, sorry. And we talked about this uh, two weeks ago. One or two weeks ago, we talked about this on this day hero design now it's been added to the code it's not actually in the game but it is basically like we mentioned a couple weeks ago it's basically a flashback or it sounds like a flashback card design for a hero there's also an icon design that's in the code as well since this has been added there's a lot of hope and speculation i should say that there may be one of these hero cards dropping soon as an SBC on this game. I don't think this would be in packs. If it was going to be a promo, we would have leaks, you know? It sounds like this is going to be an SBC coming soon. We, again, just guessing, speculating a little bit here, but this could be one of those big player SBCs that helps our fodder prices go up, depending on how big the hero is, depending on how expensive it is, and maybe our first actual player SBC for an icon or hero on the year. So we'll see if there's any more leaks related to this, but I'm just reading between the lines, thinking about, mm, could this be a player SBC? Could it be coming soon? Just wait for the leaks, guys, on this one 100% to be sure. But it is interesting that that has been added to the code, and the icon design has not been added into the game yet. Like, it's in the back end, I guess, but now that Hero 1 is added, like, into the code. So that's just something I have to shout because that was being talked about yesterday, and I think there's some weight to that leak. Let's talk about evolutions, right? Uh, we mentioned it in the intro. Evos have been so dead in the last week because they have been broken, and evidently EA knew that, and they've stopped releasing them. We haven't had an Evo since Sunday when we had the second of the new Foundation Evos, which we didn't even have one last promo Friday for the second week of this, uh, the Rush promo, which was very, very... Um, unfortunate unfortunate and it sucked right we need evo today like this is not a negotiable situation ea please have this evo stuff fixed because another promo friday without evos if like rafinha is sick the players and packs are decent the content's good but then there's no evo like we we kind of associate evos as a part of a good week of content on this game so there's no evos today i think we'll be a bit disappointed um Hopes are high. There's rumors rolling around that, like, they've got it fixed. They know what happened, and they're going to release an Evo today. I hope so, man. No official communication from EA has been made. So we'll just have to see heading into content today. Maybe watch out for leaks. Evos haven't even been leaked that much this year compared to other years. Sure, we've had a few, but it used to be, like, almost every single Evo was leaked. And this year, that's not quite the case. But, guys, we need Evo today. EA, please get that fixed. We need that hype back. I am... Realizing that I really like Evos and Evos, especially the start of the year this year with the stat limit stuff were like they were hitting nice, man. They really were. And we just need that to keep going. Now, let's talk about the pack code a little bit, because the one thing they've been doing new this year on Promo Fridays is you guys know what I'm about to say as I go into the store, the packs for you section, which we had the 60,000 coin split decision pack last week player pick really that was what this is and it's, it was not good right but it's it was tradable i thought no it says all items untradeable i thought this was tradable first of all anyways we've had packs released here on promo fridays each and every promo friday actually and that's not changing today the talk the talk pack has been added to the code and again they keep ramping up you're seeing this pack because you've entered ultimate team x number of days now we're up to 30 days it's crazy this this game has been out for a month already a little over that so this pack includes 30 rare gold player items with one guaranteed to be an 86 plus this is not going to be a cheap pack i mean if there's 30 rare golds in here and you're guaranteed to walk out if they're requiring 60,000 coins for a 86 plus player pick one of two untradeable and this pack is tradable this is going to be an expensive pack today if they make it anywhere near a testable price though it's going to hurt the market and it's going to supply a lot of cards so i just want to mention that because that's probably going to be dropping today for anybody who's logged into the game at least 30 days into the packs for you section just because we expect those packs on fridays because that's when they've been releasing them of course we've got the regular like premium and essentials packs that are coming out through trailblazers probably the biggest pack that was added to the code um it's not in this set of tweets here but there's also the 10 coin pack or the one coin pack that's going to come back today three regular player items that's nice a full 11 mini pack and then a seasonal booster pack where is that big one that was added here it is 75 times 100 rare gold players pack whoa 
that's going to be expensive. I forget how much that pack was last year because I believe that was dropped in FC24. Um, but that is the type of pack that a lot of people will open with coins, and that's not very smart to do. Uh, guys, again, never really smart to open packs with coins because 9.75 times out of 10, you're not going to make your coins back from one of these situations. So it's just going to be a straight-up coin loss. But that is a lot of fodder, and that is a lot of players, and that will probably be... What's our most expensive pack that we've had this year? 250k for this heroic season opener. That one eh, might top it or might be the same. We'll have to see. This one has 35 rare golds in it and the hero. Yeah, we'll have to see what this one is. But I would expect that to be in the game this weekend. And then the max 88 base icon. EA is getting a head start for an SBC that's probably going to drop next week on Wednesday, right? Wednesdays are our icon slash hero upgrade pack day. So we had the max 88 hero this past couple days ago, probably getting the max 88 icon next Wednesday. So that's kind of something that's in the code that's in the pack additions, but not actually dropped on the game yet. But I want to talk about that. Now, let's talk market again today, guys, because of course, it's promo Friday. There's going to be a lot of movements, a lot of prices going up, a lot of prices going down. With the promo being what it is today, I would honestly expect there to be a good amount of prices dropping before content today. I would imagine there's going to be a little bit of panic sell off, especially because we have that hero SBC kind of or hero on this day stuff kind of lingering, right? We've got a promo set of cards today with some pretty big names, a good SBC that's been leaked as well, and just a decent a bit of hype in general for Trailblazers because of what this promo has brought before. So I would imagine there is going to be some panic selling before content. Of course, we got to be the most careful with gold cards, guys. If you own a gold card of somebody, even like a gold Adair Militao, who I think went up a little bit yesterday after rewards, how much is Adair right now? almost 70k this is a card that's going to drop today 100 percent more and more people are phasing out of gold cards as we see every single week on friday golds drop supply from weekend league supply from store packs new cards are coming out people are selling cards in their teams and these cards just get cheaper so that's one thing i would tell you to probably sell today for sure would be gold cards the only ones you would be a little bit safer keeping would, would be like maybe a Leia, a leao tail hernandez but even these cards i would expect to see at least a little bit of a price drop on and you know for the rest of the market it's just going to depend on how the content does but i'm going to be mostly liquid heading into the content drop today just because i think these new promo cards are going to be really interesting and a lot of people are going to want to try them now like we've seen in the past couple of weeks if you guys remember during road to the knockouts and during the first week of total rush what we saw was there was a huge panic sell before content because we were expecting insane stuff remember the week that we had um Laminia mall and nico williams there was a bunch of content uh panic selling before the content drop and then since the content was super mid prices skyrocketed right after this people went rushing back to the market to buy cards because they were like nah man this content kind of sucks right Ooh, that's a low bid for harry kane we're gonna keep an eye on that so if that happens today if content is like hyped up and we're excited for it and rafinha is overpriced there's no evolution because they haven't got it fixed I don't have enough coins for this. Oh no, I only have 300K in this. Okay, it's gonna keep getting bid on. Anyways, if there's panic selling today and prices are down, 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 but then content sucks, it's gonna bounce again. There's gonna be a short bit of a bounce. Look at out of packs cards for sure. If there's panic there, that'll be your safest place to be trading cards today. And if you're looking to buy a team, I would just tell you to do this. I would not look to buy a team until later in the day today because if, especially if there's gold cards involved, even if there's out of pack special cards, prices on Fridays almost drop just every single week. Like what did what did Malo Gusto even do last week on Friday? He rose big time. Friday morning, he's up. He did rise a little bit into Saturday after a drop. Look at this. Malo Gusto up Friday morning drops into content content last week was pretty bad gusto goes from 440 boom by friday night he's 470 so if content's bad that is what could happen but if we use our edder militao example again he's gonna drop today most likely regardless but if content's good today you could see this so militao was uh, a couple hours before content last week 92k what is he saturday late friday night early saturday morning he's 80k so we dropped from 92 down to 79 80 000 coins that's what you could see if the content is good today so i would say if you're going to look to buy a team save that until later friday night once we get a, a grasp on what this trailblazers promo is going to look like for sure again if this promo comes in at affordable levels and we have good content via sbcs and evolutions 
I fear for some of the market because like we've been saying, it just feels like we're getting way closer to the peak, especially for a lot of these icons and heroes that have just continually gone up, up, up in price. I think we're closer to the peak than we are, uh, you know, going up even further. You know what I'm saying? I think prices are very, very high at the moment, and I don't think they're going to last here forever. So that's just my take on some price at the moment. We're in that time of the year as well, where we will probably be having some sort of market downturn soon. Usually during November or even late October, we start to have a bit of a market crash. Could that be today? We'll have to see if the stars align, if the content's good enough for people to feel like the new stuff is worth selling their old cards for. And that should be, the market will be an interesting place. We'll be following it, of course, on stream today. If you want to check that out, link is down below in the description. We'll be following things very, very close and trading and watching the market, flipping the new cards and all that good stuff. Last thing I want to mention is, I wanted to say this for the end of the video because I know it's not going to impact everybody, but for you guys that grind the menus and have heard of a extension called Pale Tools, which I will preface this and say I've never used Pale Tools because it is against EA's terms of service, but it sounds like there's a band wave that has been going around. This is the creator of Pale Tools mentioning this, um, that people have, have been using Pale Tools and they've been getting these market locks. Your account has temporarily lost access to trade. I don't know how many people this is impacting. I don't know if people were just using the extension or if they were using the market bot type of part of the extension, which is definitely against the rules 100%. Um, Technically, it all is, but I know that other parts of this people really like and are very useful. But I just wanted to warn you guys about this today because EA made some updates to the web app, I guess, and that is what is creating the problem with Pale Tools and maybe is uh, showing EA who is using it. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I know we just all wish that they would add some of the tools that Pale Tools has in it as an extension that makes building SBCs a lot quicker and easier. I know that they have updated, EA has updated the uh, squad building menu, which does help a lot. Um, but yeah, that's going around. So I wanted to mention it because uh, that's, I know a lot of people have mentioned that. I see a lot of talk about it on Twitter, even right now as that news is pretty fresh and a lot of people are talking about it. So um, not to somber the mood at all, but hopefully none of you guys have been impacted by that. Um, and it seems like it's not super wide and super broad, but that is going around. Now, we're excited for Trailblazers today, guys. I really, you know what? I like to go into a promo Friday with some packs, and I really got nothing today, man. I can hit some 80-plus combo upgrades, but I'm not going to expect too much out of that. Um, objective packs, maybe I'll have to snag a couple more rush points to get an 82-3 and an 84 times 2. I don't have any rewards for today, though. And there's not really a whole lot of other packs in here as well. I'm going to have to craft some upgrade packs, man. Give me uh, give me the sale on Rio so I can go craft some upgrade packs and maybe have a chance at packing one of the new cards today. I'm a little bummed. I, I saw the colors. If you if you want to watch yesterday's rewards episode on the TFATG, I saw the promo colors, and I was like, am I going to get Zyre Emery? Because it was France again, but it obviously wasn't. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys watch that video. I'll link that up again right up here. I will see you guys in the stream today, man. If you enjoyed this video, drop thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions, and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Have a great Friday. Have a great start to the weekend. Hopefully your foot champs games go well. I will not be playing champs today. Rivals on Fridays is the move. Not champs. Champs for Sunday. Way easier. Trust me. All right, guys. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. Have a great Friday. I'm out. Peace.